Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. We begin this week with Mercury moving into Aries, and this is a very strong and radiant sign, centred and pure. And once we're over the initial ego aspect of Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, the child of the zodiac, here's me aspect, then I feel this year, with the raising in consciousness, we're looking at the real I am presence. Aries is the spiritual warrior when elevated. Aries is consciousness itself. So with Mercury moving into Aries, we can ask ourselves questions like, who am I? We've been talking for the last couple of weeks about the fact that we're not our personality story. We're not the sum of our experiences that we've taken personally. And Aries can take everything personally because it is the me, the raw ego. But once we apply Mercury, the conscious mind, to elevate our mind in Aries, then who am I without my story? We can watch our inner dialogue. I'm the one that. I did this. I like that. I think this or that. But is that really us or is that habit? that what we've got used to defining ourselves as. Because although the ego fears annihilation, when we start to unravel a lot of that narrative, a lot of the stream of consciousness that we're constantly reconfirming and redefining ourselves with, then we're stepping into an unlimited state. Time to embrace our full potential. So who am I? Who am I really? Is one of the meditative questions for the week. And it could be that just uncovering who you're not is a great place to come from there. Have a look. Do you have opinions? Are they actually still valid? Do you have bias? Do you take pride in associating with something because it makes you feel validated or belonging? somehow going to the core of those beliefs and those opinions checking for ourselves with a individuated ego a raised up free mind then maybe we can let go of some of the accumulated story a little bit easier there but the next level would then be who am i and where do i come from this is the more spiritual aspect we get up every morning, we take life for granted, we've got our functional routine ahead of us. We put on that overcoat of personality story and step out repeating beliefs and behaviours. But once we take that coat off, once we allow ourselves to be in full potential, then even to look at who we really are from a place of well, where did I come from? Some of these bigger questions in life have preoccupied all the philosophers but are largely ignored in the daily routine. So as we head towards the new moon in Aries, at the very beginning of next week, we've got this very sacred opportunity to let go of who we're not and to actually start to consider who we really are. As a soul astrologer, I have the privilege of being able to look at people's charts every week. And my perspective is that this is your chart for this life that you've been here many times before and we come here to raise our consciousness through the challenges that we set ourselves through our chart. So that opens me up to a multi-lifetime perspective on a daily basis. But sometimes I forget that that's not what many people will be doing. They'll be thinking from cradle to grave, I should have done this by now on a set timeline, measuring themselves against others and racing to achieve goals. But our chart shows us different timings in our lives where we'll achieve different things or we'll reach different breakthroughs. And everybody's timeline is different. So this really is a superb year to learn astrology, to connect with your own unique soul plan and to break free from this one-size-fits-all mad scramble. So the rest of the week heading towards the new moon in Aries has a lot of Pisces energy. And this is good because Pisces is rinsing off, Pisces is connecting to the all. So on Monday I feel it's a great day to align the conscious and the subconscious mind, to observe what comes up and to seek the deeper meaning. 
Now, one way not to carry our story forward all the time is not to repress what happens because that just will make it happen again and again in different forms until you've got a repeat pattern and then you believe that that's your karma or whatever. But when something happens, if we actually say, what did I want to learn from this? Then we're able to seek the seed of awareness and leave the emotional baggage of the experience behind. We only really need to experience something once if we're going to learn from it. And that seed of awareness itself will mean that we won't make those same decisions or react in that same way. Or repress and magnetically attract to us more of that lesson in different forms. It's a really wonderful week to align the, the conscious and the subconscious mind to see what's coming up from the deep, to seek the deeper meaning of it, to take responsibility. What did I want to learn from this? Rather than blaming the other or going into victim mode. This is how we can get light and fresh as the journey from Pisces to Aries is to rinse off and then leap up, elevated into a new level of consciousness for a new cycle. Another aspect of Mercury in Aries is that we may get flashes of inspiration. It's a very quick mental energy, and very sparky. But if we can stay a little still and a little conscious, then we may get some inspiration if we're paying attention. And that energy really is flowing around Tuesday. By Wednesday, I feel the contemplation is you are guided. Will you listen? So most of us listen to our intuition. We listen to our feelings. We listen to when we feel that we're being guided in a certain direction. This is another great use of the mind because Mercury, the processing mind, nearly always gets given the job of trying to plan the future, which causes friction and confusion. But being able to take your mind and use it for you as a tool to work with you, then give it a focus. And part of that focus could be practicing to tune in and listen to your intuition. By Thursday, I think another aspect that we can have a look at is how do you make a decision? Because the mind has all the options. But how do we actually decide? This is another cuspal point between mental and intuition. We sum up the information and then we look at which one feels most natural to us, feels most harmonious with our system. And once we focus upon that, then we can see it's actually quite a magical process that we're doing all day, every day, when we make decisions. So a great concentration there to bring that jumpy mind back into alignment and get it working for us. Because in 2021, we're really being shown that the heart sets the goals and we give our mind daily jobs to do towards achieving those goals. Applying the intuition, then we can say what feels right to do to today towards that goal, rather than just the old work ethic of chipping away. So now we've got the heart setting the goals, the mind attending to those goals and the intuition steering those goals, which is a really wonderfully empowering way to look at things. By the weekend, we have the dark moon in Aries, just before the new moon in Aries, which will be at 22 degrees at 3.29 UK time on Monday morning. So we always use the dark moon episode to let go of what we've learned that month. So again, what did I want to learn here can be applied on a monthly basis when we're working with the moon cycles. This happened, that happened, that happened. I felt this, I experienced that. What did I want to learn from this? So we're breaking that repetitive cycle of negative behavior or attracting situations to us that we don't want. And when the new moon in Aries comes along at 22 degrees, which is the master builder number, we should now be aligned and cleared, light and free, centered and strong, ready to start a new cycle of the first new moon of the year, zodiac year in Aries. It's worth noting that we've got Mercury in Aries, which I've spoken about in a very practical plan this week of how we can start to really conquer the mind and reel it in to do the bidding of the heart. But we also have what's called a mutual reception, which is that we've got Mars in Gemini. So a mutual reception is where the ruling planet of one sign and the ruling planet of another sign have swapped places. So Mercury rules Gemini and Mars rules Aries. They've swapped over. And now we've got Mercury in Aries and Mars in Gemini. And this tends to be a very harmonic aspect. 
because we're seeing things from a slightly different angle, but there's also a chance to change. So Mercury and Gemini love to change things up. Mars and Aries like to start new cycles. So overarching this week, we've got a chance for change and new starts, focus and firing up, rinsing and releasing with those final bits of the Piscean energy. And standing tall and strong right in the middle of this is Saturn in the middle of Aquarius. The reason why we're doing all of this, to centre in our sovereignty, to take back our minds, to own our dreams and fire them up in our heart, to learn from our intuition, to harness the wisdom. And Saturn in Aquarius is starting us on a journey in 2021 to take back our sovereignty, our independence, our ability for critical thinking and making up our own mind, seeing through the nonsense, our power to govern our lives as the external structures fall and fail, and our ability to quantum manifest with our unique vibration. Once we've really let go of all that isn't us, then we start to really feel our uniqueness and contribute that to the world. So an incredible week, really. Things to do every day, all heading towards a magnificent goal, sovereignty, liberation, and creating the best life for ourselves and using our wonderful talents to live a life of purpose and contribution on top of that. So if you'd like a reading for you to connect with your own true essence, Unlock the secrets of your soul plan. I am available, zoehind7 at gmail.com for one hour recorded sessions online. I also teach tarot, astrology, numerology and well-being and have coaching sessions to delete negative repeat patterns and to help you find the sovereign mind, connect your dreams and orient your life. And I'm also a personal trainer, so I'm taking clients now for outdoor training, Hampstead Heath, Primrose Hill, Regent's Park, because we do hold on to a lot in our body. And once we're letting go at this level, it can often be a great opportunity to let go on the physical side as well, to get our body in alignment. So do contact me for any of that. I post daily on AstroZo on Facebook, Zoe Hines 7 on Instagram. And these videos and more are on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. So wishing you a wonderful week, everything coming into alignment, shedding the density, stepping forwards now from the core to create the best possible year ahead. So those are the horoscopes this week, and I'll see you next week.